RT is uh, definitely tough. I mean, there's quite a few of them out there. Welcome everybody to another edition of One Lap, One Beer. I got my boy, Chris Smokey Madden. Chris, <laughs> I don't judge. I always said I'll be the one drinking beer. You're going with Gatorade. I'm going with Boom I'm Boom Briggs. Boom Briggs. Boom yeah, Briggs Special. Right. I have an extra one if you want to join, but all in all, thank you for joining One Lap, One Beer. I'm, I'm excited I'm about this cool. one. Yep. All right, so we're at Eldora, the Big E. Just how special is this place for dirt late model racing? Well, to me, it's, um, I don't know, it's, I mean, this is one of, this is the most important race of the year to me. Right. Is, and uh, I could tell Eldora. it in your voice with so many great sound bites uh, over the years. I love this place. Uh, I love the atmosphere here. I love the challenge. Uh, I love the, the people, you know, the, I mean, just when you get here and you look up in the stands and you see all these people just surrounding this place, it's just, it's an awesome feeling. It is an awesome feeling. I mean, I'm going to start off with the tough one, just all the heartbreaks, so close <laughs> near finishes. How do you stay motivated and confident going into an Eldora week? And you're like, man, we've thrown the kitchen sink at this place and it just spits us up sometimes. It does. And, you know, when we, when we come here, uh, it's, you know, you're not just up against the racers, you're up against Eldora. Right. And, uh, you know, the, the, the peel draw obviously is important. Now the points deal that they do is important. And, um, you know, like today we qualified like a bag of crap, so. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but we can but tell the people at home we, the feature was dialed the in. The feature, we were dialed in pretty good. Uh, we needed just a little bit more different adjustment there. We would have, I think, would have been able to roll to at least about third. All right, personally, what do you think your biggest heartbreak is at Eldora? I remember that one time you're starting to pull. Obviously, couldn't get that thing going <laughs> the back stretch. But in your eyes, what do you think has just been the biggest heartbreak? Uh, I mean, probably the first one that I, I really uh, was, I, I knew I was going to win it. Uh, I had conquered everything that that year. Uh, I think Earl wound up winning it. The world. Oh, six world. I think so. Yeah, we, uh, you know, we had qualified like fast time. That's back when you started sixth in the first heat, no matter what. Yeah, they inverted six. And, Earl said, "F you guys, yeah. we're just gonna go yep. invert six. And we, um, so, and and back then, you know, there was no passing. It didn't happen. We started sixth in the first heat and won the first heat. And you're like, okay, well now I'm we're like, feeling yeah. good. And then we started sixth in the feature and we rolled right by them guys and uh, Bab and Earl and them guys were racing and I just drove right, kind of right through the middle of them and just doing my thing, you know, and just effortless, like I was on a Sunday cruise and I had a left rear flat of all odds. Oh, classic, <laughs> unbelievable. Yeah, so uh, that was a, that was definitely a heartbreaker back in, in those times. But, uh, you know, last year we had a, we had a badass hot rod for sure. And um, I don't know, we just didn't, we didn't conquer it. So one thing we I- We got rained out, you know, it, obviously. And, oh yeah, I mean, that just, uh, that's just, you're like at this point, you're thinking, am I like Dale Earnhardt, yeah. the Daytona 500, yeah, just all exactly. this crazy shit, yeah. you know? You know, the, the Dirt Million, um, we started, what, 19th and that turbo got into me in a heat race, first lap of the heat race, cut the left rear valve stem out, so that put us in the back. But uh, Hell of a charge, though. I respect yeah, that. Yeah, those guys great. were, actually, those guys were on the same straightaway with me, fixing to lap me. Right. And no cautions. I drove all the way back around and, and called them and was racing for the win with them. But uh, we didn't need to, I didn't need the cautions. We had cautions at the end and didn't need them. You know, I felt like no cautions we we walk away with it but same story we have cautions and we suck for five or ten laps just like always and then we get to rolling and speed comes right they slow down and we get better and i don't know it's just it's killed me here time and time again but everybody says well it's 100 laps 100 laps i say yeah but we run 90 green flag laps and 10 
at the end. Right. No good. So we're in one and two here. What's your favorite part about the opening stages of Eldor here in one and two? What do you like about it? Where can you make your moves here in one and two? Uh, I don't know. I've always been able to to pull off of pull off of the cushion, you know, kind of middle ways and make a big run down the back straight away. Right. Leaving in the middle or, or to the bottom, you know. Uh, you know, I've seen there's a, there's a few people that run that line and and uh, obviously. Um, Mac Daddy, you know, runs it well. He's he's always okay and, here. <laughs> uh, and um, I guess, you know, us us uh, older generation guys seem, seem <laughs> okay, to like. Okay, you don't have to take your hat off and scratch like, your head a little bit. Come on. Seem to like that like that line, you know. But uh, you know, because apparently I don't you're think, an older guy now. Yeah, I don't think yeah. you can steadily beat that cushion for 100 laps here and and um, win anymore, especially tire combinations that we have to run and whatnot but right uh i don't know it's my favorite place favorite place in the world to come and race and uh that's why i picked you to do this yeah, here at when, one I, when I get to where i can't do it here you won't see me at a dirt track anymore. Oh, hear that so. it says if he can't do it get her done here he's done retiring one thing i love about you is that the persona of people that maybe watch from home talk to you in the pits you're kind of a quiet reserved guy but i can tell in your interviews Maybe if something heartbreak happens, you get very emotional and you take it to heart because I think you just love dirt light mile racing so much and it means so much to you and I respect and love that. Just people don't realize you have a great passion for the sport. I do, man. I love it. Uh, I don't know. And sometimes I, maybe I put, it can get in a little, you know, shenanigans, oh, altercation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All, always. But I mean, that's that's part of it. Right. Uh, you know, that's just part of hard knocks racing. And we, uh, I don't know. I, I love the sport. I I love to uh, I love to win. Obviously, I've poured my heart and soul into it for many years, and and um, you know I, I just that's what I do. How did you get into racing? I really don't know your backstory. Uh, actually, my granddad on the uh, on the old, old Camaro car back in the in the late 70s and early 80s and we had a little little red shop in our backyard oh my i <laughs> love it and that's where we kept this thing at and um our shop was kind of so small that you couldn't even hardly walk around the car to work on it so on good weather days we'd roll it outside and work on it he had a big light outside we would work on it outside but i was uh you know always hanging out at the shop and um you know just wanting to be that kid working on a race car. So it started there and then went into obviously go-kart racing. We, we've done that for about 12 years. And, uh, Were you a go-kart ace? Uh, I was pretty good at it. All right. I was pretty good at it. Uh, awesome. So we um, we done the go-karts for about 12 years and then went right into late model racing. And, uh, when was your first big really moment when you're like, okay, a race that you won maybe or you competed with somebody when was that first moment in a realization you're like i could freaking do this thing uh i guess back in the in the late 90s there i guess um uh, racing at livonia speedway and at a, a georgia state championship deal and we outrun um buck and buck simmons and tim hedden and those he had guys a couple and, wins in his career <laughs> <laughs> and uh I said, man, I guess, you know, we, we're going to continue to do this. And, and uh, I don't know, we just, we uh, have always put ourselves with uh, great people and, and, and um, always had good friends and a lot of friends that's poured their hard-earned money into it and helped me to get to where I'm at. So uh, it's, it's definitely been a, a group. That's for, well, for sure. sure. Not not just not just me. You know, it ain't all about me. Uh, if it wasn't for those guys, there wouldn't be no me. Okay. Besides, obviously, winning a big one in Eldora, what's the one other thing that Chris Madden wants to accomplish? And I think a Hall of Fame career. Anything else on the bucket list you want? Uh, Prairie I mean, dirt. That'd be cool. Yeah. Yeah. I'd be stoked. I was close over there to that. Yeah. Too, you you know? you've been close. Yep. But and um, one one year you got. Took it out on the, on the first restart there. Yeah, 
Yeah, for sure. But uh, no, if I could, if I could conquer this guy here, uh, I think I'd be pretty satisfied. Yeah, that'd be uh, be a good moment. Yeah. I think the you know the whole crowd, people that come every single year, appreciate. I mean, you see guys that do it. They win and they do it over and over and over. And uh, you know, I know how hard it is to win here. So for them guys to do that is pretty special. <laughs> Out of all, like, let's just say under 30, maybe 32, who do you think has the biggest potential to be, like, the next great one? The guys that are, you know, 30 or younger that you see, because obviously you pay attention, you watch stuff on flow and, you know, other dirt vision and stuff like that, but who do you think's like this, oh, man, this guy's going to be pretty damn good. He probably has another 20 years left. Well, he won a race tonight. RTJ? <laughs> RT. RT is uh, definitely – Tough. I mean, there's quite a few of them out there. Uh, in my book, there's there's probably three or four. Uh, you got the 20 car. Uh, you got Hoodie in the one car now. And, uh, you know, I think, I don't know how old he's over there. I think he's like 32, around my age. I'm 33, so I think he's yeah. right around there. So, so he's got, got a lot of years got, left. He's got a lot of years left. So, I mean, uh, those are probably, that's probably my top three. Oh yeah, they're hey. You know what? When you retire, you can come hang out with us in the booth. I think you cool. You know, I, you know, I, like I think you can do it. I can do it. I can swing it. All right. So, Eldora Speedway, three and four. When you're getting ready to do the four wide, the flames are going, the fireworks are going. How badass is it? Just the people going crazy. You see the cell phone light. Just describe that in the driver's seat. I mean, it's awesome. I mean, when you can hear those people over them motors. That's pretty badass. Oh, I can't imagine. So, You're probably like thinking, to, uh, this is why we do I mean, it. This is why we do it. It is. That's why we come here. That's why we do it. Uh, you know, there's nowhere else in the country that has this feel. All right, Cherokee, how how do they get people to keep, like, they just, that they pack that place <laughs> out. It's nuts. And there's always <laughs> some crazy scenario that happens always, there. It, it, but it's, it is a place that always. I like because it has the charm of dirt late model racing. It's I would say it's the de facto you know, South Carolina racetrack, you know, like Fairbury's probably Illinois, Eldora's, yep. Ohio, Ohio's Eldora. Like, that is definitely the de facto home for, you know, for South Carolina in my mind. It is, man. I mean, you can go over there on a Sunday. You can go over there on a Sunday morning, and those people will be there at 8 <laughs> or 9 o'clock in the morning in their lounge chairs sitting out waiting for the gates to open to just eat some red dirt. And I'm like, what the? What is wrong with you people? <laughs> no, it's, uh, you know, Die it used to be a very special place to me, too, uh, when it was a big half mile, because it definitely separated the boys and the men. Well, what was it called? The sure. place your mama warned you about, That's right? That's exactly right. And when it was a big half mile, it was a short enough racetrack. Who do you think your biggest rival is in your whole career? Uh, me and JD bump heads for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> and now we are... Uh, you know, I consider us to be pretty pretty close friends. Uh, you know, we chat we chatted the other week uh, when he was at Wheatland and I was at Sharon. We both told each other how bad we were, <laughs> <laughs> and and we won that night. So isn't that crazy uh, how the stars align yeah, like that? Yep, yeah, yeah, that's right. But uh, you know, uh, great racer from now my way, and uh, earned a lot of respect for him. And I think he has for me in the years and. Uh, it's just, just cool to see. Uh, kind of like rivals. Racers come from yeah. my area. Racers come, and, and you guys have some good ones. We have some good racers. I will always say my area, Illinois. Is, you know, we can get up on the wheel, elbows up, but at the end of the day, you guys in your neck of the woods, they show up for the big races around here. Obviously, uh, it's obviously that. You know, when it gets slick and it gets hundred lap races, boys from the south show up. Yeah, I mean, sometimes I get mad at my Illinois boys for sucking here, you know. But <laughs> Sock giving us a little sock here. Yeah, there, I'm like, yeah, come on. But That's all right. All right, Chris Madden, one lap, one beer at yeah. Eldora. Uh, final thoughts. Are you going to win this thing this weekend? I'm going to give it all I if got. If you win this thing this weekend, you have to bring me up on victory lane. This is good luck, Sean. Oh, 100%. That's, that's, that's it. That's a done deal. All right, perfect. We can do that. Hey, all right. love you, brother. One lap, one beer. Uh, yep. Chris Madden, you've always been great to me in the pits. Uh Future Hall of Famer. He's trying to get his first Eldora Crown Jewel, but hey, 
Thank you for taking your time. You didn't even have to take a drink. You're in shape. I did. I took one down Okay, there on, oh, so you did. Turn four, I had to take a little swim. All right, there we yeah. go. All right, Chris Madden, one hey, lap wonder. I appreciate you guys. Thank y'all. Thank you.